Hello everyone, today I got a video of how to, how to make a pattern that will fit inside here, transfer it to Fusion and then 3D print it so you have a ready piece to go in. I have people ask me before how to do something like that and it's very easy. So first we're gonna just take this and we're gonna take an A4 paper or whatever paper you want and we're gonna transfer shape onto the paper. It's not, there's no need to do the inside, as long as you do the outside and then you can measure that I'd say the thickness of this one is uh, two millimeters. You will know in Fusion how to scale it down. There you get the shape. Sometimes you can make, you can get a black marker or like a, uh, even a, a pencil and just color the inside and just make a print of that on your paper. And then from this one, you want to make two dots. Let's say one that will be zero, that's all lines. Better let's go with a line. You make one line here and let's say you get a ruler and something to measure you set it at zero and then let's say we make another mark on three 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 centimeters so we know that from here to here it's three centimeters so that will be our reference uh, point so this will come accurate and the next part is two ways of doing it you can scan it into a scanner if you have a scanner and printer just scan it as an a4 or just take a good photo like i'm gonna do from the top make sure that your phone is straight and just take a photo closer better and then import it to fusion i am not an expert but that's how i do it so we go to fusion we create a new sketch and then we get a line and we're gonna make the line, I have it in millimeters, so three centimeters will be 30 millimeters. So we get our reference points. <clears throat> then we're gonna insert as a canvas. You can turn it into an SVG and have the pattern ready, but I will show you without the, turning it into an SVG. Use your image, import it. Now just make sure that your two points will meet. This will not be accurate to a, uh, you know, millimeter, but to a, uh, but it'll be accurate enough for you to work with it. And then you can print and you can redesign it again. And I think we are okay. You can see, we got one reference point on the dot and the second on the dot almost. Then, then we're gonna make the shape. I will do the shape, just trace it around, measure, just because we're not doing the outside, we, do, we want a piece that will go inside, I will just measure the lip here, how much is the lip, let me do it now, so you can, so you can see, the lip will be 2.55, I will give a little bit of room, so I'm gonna make it a 3mm, 2mm offset, you always, you always want to give a little bit air when you're doing something that fits inside another piece. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a three millimeter or even less, maybe 2.8 millimeter. And it should fit nice. If not, we're gonna adjust it again. So let me do it now and I will show you the final piece. And then you end up with something like that. So we're gonna print it and I'm gonna show you if it fits or not. I guess it will. And this is our 3D printed part. All done, I even put the nut already. And now let's see if it will fit. I don't want to push it anymore because it, it is a really is a tight fit. That's how I wanted it. But it fits without a problem. You can see I have a little bit of space here in between. Here you can see this one is touching. That's how I wanted it because it, it, it will be, this is a project I'm working on, so this will be a tight press instead of putting a screw here or gluing it. So this is how you turn your 2D sketch into a 3D printed object. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and share, and I hope I will see you in the next one.